Hi everybody, um, I am going to do a quick video and this uh, is a video where I'm going to be asking for your suggestions and even having you just list what you do um, or what you think about what I'm about to say, not that it's groundbreaker groundbreaking or anything. Um, first of all, I'm going to apologize again. I'm not wearing makeup in this video, um, minus a little stick of gloss. It's my treatment night, and I just took my um, Glam Glow mask off, and I'm kind of put, waiting for my serum to kind of absorb so I can finish up with my nighttime routines. The other thing that I did today was which was very, very exciting. A new salon actually opened up uh, across the street from where I live, and um, I would never train my stylist for the world, so I didn't have any any kind of cut or color, but I did have a great deep condition and blow-dry treatment, and my hair really, really, really responded quite well. Um, so I'll be doing a blog post on that at a later time because I think that's one of the things, um, even though I'm pretty good about caring for my hair and being, you know, on a kind of a high maintenance schedule because I am so blonde and I choose that. That's, that's a bottle blonde. That's me. Um, that's one thing and one area that I really need to pay more attention to is that deep conditioning. It's just great to have it in a salon, um, and this one, there was a, a coupon special, so I went over, and it was definitely worth um, the $15 I paid to get the deep conditioner and then an actual style with the blow-dry. Um, very, very pleased. Definitely going to go back. Um, I think they're they're charging $25 for the deep condition and the, the blow dry. And, you know, around here where I live in downtown Toronto, you can go to a blow dry bar and pay probably $35 for the, just the, the wash and the, and the style. So, and half those girls aren't stylists. They're just girls that really like to blow dry hair, um, which is fine, but, um, it's nice to have a stylist with, you know, that went to school and, and knows hair and, and does it for $25, uh, $10 less. So anyway, back to what I wanted to make this video about. Um, I seem to be going through these kinds of phases in my beauty and cosmetics kind of span here. Um, a couple months ago, I was going through this textured blush phase where I needed to try all these different textures of blush. I had mousse blush and powder blush and gel blush and liquid blush and um, I even have a blush that looks like a lip gloss that I, I searched really uh, long long and hard for and I finally found it. Um, it's the Clarins blush and I will be doing a review on that as well. Finally got that. But what I have seem to be focusing on now and I don't know why, it's just something I'm really interested in, is different foundation combinations. Um, I'm, I've always been a big foundation girl. Um, usually wear a full face. I used to wear very, very heavy full coverage foundation, and I've kind of backed off a bit and been using medium. And then on the weekends, I'll just use my BB cream. Um, I always wear something, but I go a little bit lighter on the weekends. But what I've been finding lately is I've been doing these... Um, awesome combinations and really coming out with um, what I think is really great. So I'm going to show you about some, show you some of the combinations that I um, work with that seem to go well and work well for me. But what I really want to know is that if I can't be the only person that's doing this and I want to know what you do and why you, you use certain products and if you would put those products together um, why you would do that and what the results are and why it works for you. So if you have the time to watch this video and um, respond, that would be really great because that's what I'm looking for because um, I'm really interested in it. It's just, it's just very odd. So the thing that I use during the week that I've been using for the past two weeks is this um, Shu Umera uh, uh, UV Under Base Mousse, which is just a standard... To me, it's a primer. It's nice because it has the SPF in it, although most of my makeup has SPF. Um, I'm kind of looking for one that doesn't, just in case um, I'm in some kind of lighting situation where I'm being photographed so my skin doesn't flash any or reflect any more white than it already is. So lately, um, for the past two weeks, I've been using this, and then I've been using the YSL um, Radiance. Radiance Flawless Foundation, and this is beautiful. Um, most of the time when I put these two together, 
Uh, I get a lot of, your skin looks so dewy. How did you get that? This is how. Two products. Um, I do set my T-zone with a little powder, um, which I don't have right here, and I don't think I'm going to go get. But just the T-zone, like very, very light. Um, because I kind of like, I might, I may be turning into a dewy girl. I always thought I was a natural matte finish girl, but I may actually be turning dewy. Ah! So, um, and anyway, uh, the, my latest, what I'm going to call my latest and greatest, um, and I can't say this guy's name right. Uh, first I use my Marcel, uh, BB cream, which I love. I feel like this is the best BB cream that I've ever used. Um, and I still live in Asia, so I've used a lot of the Asia, Asian ones. And I find that a lot of the Asian ones, well, at least back then, were still very, very yellow. And I know they've changed that, and I probably should try uh, some of the Asian ones. But I'm going to go with the If It Ain't Broke, Don't Fix It. And I'm going to use my Marcel, which I really like. And I use this one in... Um, I think it's light to medium. But then what I did was I wear my BB cream on the weekend. Um, and I have Friday off for Good Friday. So I put this on. But then I thought, oh, I just want a little bit more here. Hyperpigmentation. I'm getting a few pimples, etc. So I used my... I don't know how to say this guy. This is the guy that makes Angel, Alien. Um, and he makes another fragrance called Womanity. And I want to say it's Mugler. Um, T-H-I-E. E-R-R-Y, Mugler, and he also makes cosmetics, and when I tried his cosmetics before, I was really impressed, um, and I had this foundation in my uh, stash for a while, and I haven't used it, because I was using it during the summer, and I felt like, oh, it's just melting off my face, I hate it, but this is his um, Cooling Effect Compact Foundation, and this is the refill, because I didn't want to buy the compact, but the lady at the counter felt sorry for me, so she gave me the little case that goes in it, I really just should suck it up and buy the compact, because the compact's like a work of art, it's really nice. So I use my BB cream first and kind of let that kind of sink in. And then I use this foundation um, on top of it. But I just kind of like dot it on and like kind of uh, blend it in using one of these um, brushes, like real light. Sometimes I'll use this one. Not really though. This MAC brush, big, big letdown. So this foundation is really it's really interesting. It's water-based, and it actually feels like a gel. When you touch it, it feels like, um, it feels very cool, actually, and that's apparently what it is, but it, it's wonderful, especially on top of the BB cream. It just blends perfectly, and it gives me that nice, fresh look, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of product. It looks very light. It's very weekend-friendly, um, and again, I actually didn't even set this yesterday, and it really lasted quite well. The BB cream and then this. Uh, I really, really like this combination. And then another combination, which isn't, it's not, nothing to scream about, is uh, I got the new uh, foundation from Chanel, the Perfection Lumiere, and I actually do not like this on its own. I hate it. Um, and it's, it's not the person, it's not the foundation's fault. It's not the product's fault. It's not the Chanel counter person's fault. Um, it's just, I guess it's my skin. My neck color is a lot lighter than my face color. Um, so, you know, you want foundation to match your neck. So I was, I was debating between going between this color, which is 10 uh, beige, and the next darkest color, which I don't know what the name of that is, but when I put the next darkest color on, it was just, it was too much of a difference, and then I thought, well, maybe I should buy them both and mix them, and then I thought, no, I don't want to do that either, I know I've got something somewhere, so I was just using this, and this is my first long wear makeup, and using this on its own, mm -mm, can't do it. So, a while back, I had bought the LeBlanc de Chanel, which is just a um, sheer illuminating base, and it's just kind of a white, let me show you, white, kind of creamy, um, I wouldn't call it a primer, it, it is a base, you can use it um, under 
you know, before your makeup, but it really just gives a nice, like, sheen. You can't, you probably can't even see it, hence the term sheer. So what I did was I just put this on, um, sparingly. Too much is really too much with this, with this product. Let it, um, absorb, and then brush this on top, and it looks, it looks a thousand percent better. Um, granted, I still used a little bit of bronzer, because I feel like this, this could use just, if it just had like a tad more warmth to it, it would be absolutely perfect. But with this, these two, this really makes this. Um, and it, maybe it's my fault for not understanding long wear foundation. I don't know. Um, I do like this. And I mean, it's the fragrance and the scent smells wonderful, and it does what it's supposed to do in terms of a long wear. But I just need it to. I, I need to look like I'm not wearing a mask, and if I wear this on its own, I, I really kind of feel like I look cakey. This really helps this um, go on a lot better. So, and the other thing that I've started doing, and I'm so proud of myself, is really uh, relying on my tools to apply these, these combinations. Um, so I've been using my um, foundation brushes. One is from Target, and it's got no name on it, but I just really love this brush. It is awesome, nice and fluffy, really can, can get in to where I need to get into. Um, as far as like under the eye and stuff, I really like one sweep, just like I've seen other people on YouTube do it. Um, I could do it too, but when I go back to the States, which won't be soon enough, I'm going to get one of these. And the other one is just an Eco Tools uh, foundation brush. And I like this one, um, but I prefer this one. When I was using Mac, uh, my Mac uh, Match Master, I'm out of it now, um, I was using this Mac 187. Um, really disappointed in this brush. This brush cost a lot of money as far as I, I'm concerned. You know, this brush was 40 something dollars and um, all it does is shed. It, it's terrible. Every time I wash it with the brush cleaner, um, I've looked on the internet, it just sheds horribly. I probably will never buy this type of brush from MAC ever again. Very disappointing. So, um, but anyway, that's my current different foundation combinations and I have more foundations in my stash that aren't old or need to be thrown out so I'm definitely going to try them. Um, summer's coming too so I may be switching to a mineral based foundation. So I'm very interested in what you have to say about your foundation combos and what you do and if it if it works for you and what does work and what doesn't work and what you think about mine. So if you could tell me by commenting or you know, telling me whether what I'm doing is bogus or stupid or whatever, that would be great. So that's all I had to say, and I hope you have a good weekend, and happy Easter, everybody. Bye.